good afternoon on this wonderful Friday. So what's going on in the world of tech? Let's take a look. Well, we heard this week that Sprouter was shutting down, but some great news came through yesterday. Some potential parties who want to help keep the site going have come forward. So there's no word yet on what this means, but we got our fingers crossed. Angie's List, have you heard of them? The Indianapolis website that provides consumer reviews have joined the list of tech companies issuing IPOs. The company is currently valued at about $1 billion and is preparing to issue its IPO sometime later this month. Now, Zipcar, another publicly traded company, just issued its Q2 earnings report this Tuesday and it showed a very healthy company with earnings of $61.6 million, a 34% increase from the same time last year. It is currently trading in between 23 and 24. Now, this significant earnings is due in part to a constant growth of its new and current repeat customers. If they remain on track, they expect to see their Q3 revenues to be somewhere around 67 to 69 million. If that happens, they will definitely be on track to bring in around 240 million by year end. Some great news for our friends at Sitter City here in Chicago. The U.S. Department of Defense just renewed its contract with the company two days ago. Sitter City has a corporate program where they built a custom military portal that helps military families find in-home caregivers. We're really excited for them. Some great things are happening over there. Keep your eye on them. Joyous, a new online video commerce site founded by former Googler Singhinder Singh Cassidy just launched Monday with a 7.9 million in funding. What's interesting about this site though is, is, is that it lets viewers buy products via an embedded buy button in the video and it lets viewers share their shopping opportunity via their social networks. I keep an eye on, on Joyous to see how this strategy works. It's unique and it is one that, that uh, web series producers may be able to emulate. Did you hear the news about Facebook? It's marketing director and host of Facebook Live. Also Mark sister, Randy, announced she is leaving the company to start her own company, R to Z Media. Her goal is to help media companies launch innovative programming in new and more social ways. We look forward to seeing her, comp her company in action. So what's happening on the mergers and acquisitions front? Well, this week we saw a local response, a social ad platform that helps businesses monitor and respond to check-ins by Philo Media, a social check-in service for TV shows yesterday. This acquisition is the first for local response, and it will let them see consumers' interests via physical and TV-based check-ins, which they can then use to tailor marketing efforts to trends that emerge. And it looks like another deals site is off the market. Google bought the deal map this week. The deal map was an aggregator of local deals and they made the purchase for an undisclosed amount. The deal map will continue as is for a while, but don't, I won't be surprised if in time Google integrates it into its own current offerings. So what's happening in terms of funding this week? Well, great things continue to happen for Chicago-based Bobico Company as they recently received $1.2 in funding for their newest product, the Babaco Box. It is an age-appropriate box filled with fun activities for you and your kids that is received on a monthly basis. Congratulations, Jessica and team. So who else received funding? We heard Salsa Labs, a web-based fundraising tool for politicians, nonprofits, and advocacy groups, raised $5 million in its first round of funding. They say they plan to use the money to expand their product line 
enter new markets, and grow their team. We'll be keeping an eye on you, Salsa. Six Waves LOL app. The company we had mentioned last week that had just formed from a merger of operations between Six Waves and LOL app just announced yesterday it raised an additional $35 million in funding. Congratulations, gang! Finally, Locker Z, a social media site, confirmed that it raised $36 million, bringing its total raise to $66 million. Good job, gang! Finally, in other news, 23andMe, a personal genetics company that helps people understand their own genetic information, launched a new research initiative for patients with rare blood and bone marrow diseases. This, is, this initiative expands 23andMe's research and provides a community for patients and their families to connect with others dealing with these diseases. Also, Chicago-based MBA IQ, the prep course for the MBA classroom, just launched its online course this week. The course helps you get up to speed on MBA terminology, gives you a glimpse into the areas of study, and helps you determine whether or not an MBA is right for you. If you're thinking of getting your MBA, check out their site. Meso Music 2.05 just launched it's iPhone music education app the other day. So download it. Let us know what you think of it. And that is the news for this week. If you have any news you would like for us to share, please let us know. Tweet us, post to our Facebook page, or send us a message. And now you are in the know.